The pain of another fire that claimed three lives yesterday morning is still fresh for friends and family. Investigators say a wood-burning stove may be to blame for starting the blaze that killed Wayne Bussey and his two stepdaughters, Monique and Gina Mitchell. Wayne Bussey died after running into the burning building to try to save his young stepdaughters. Wayne's wife and five-year-old son survived the fire. The Bussey family was active in schools, churches, and the surrounding community. And now that community is coming together to help family members in their time of need. WJBF News Channel 6's Peter Robbins is here now with more on that story. Pete? Brad, the Bussey family's loss is being felt throughout the community, but the students and staff at Greenbrier Elementary School may be feeling it the most. All three of the children involved in the fire have connections to Greenbrier. The oldest, Monique, went through school there. Gina was in fifth grade, and the youngest child, Sam Tavius, is in kindergarten. Some, uh... The fifth grade hallway of Greenbrier Elementary School now belongs to the spirit of Gina Marshall. It's filled with everything from pictures of joy to expressions of grief, all saying in one way or another that Greenbrier misses its fallen student. With younger children especially, teachers take the role of a parent during the day. We have to love them, we have to nurture them, uh, take them under our wing. Uh, and so when you lose a, a student, it's, it's like losing a child of your own because you're so much a part of their life. Gina's life is now being celebrated through letters she'll never get a chance to read as a young school deals with losing a student for the first time. The staff at Greenbrier Elementary School also sent home this letter to parents helping them and their children deal with this loss. And family members say that kind of community support has been a big help. Flowers and stuffed animals now sit outside the home where three family members died. Most brought by friends, hoping to help ease a family's pain. Wayne was well known, the kids were well known. You got teachers coming by, you got Santavia's students, Gina's students, Monique's students, and everybody. There isn't much to salvage from the home itself, but now school leaders say they hope to find a silver lining. We really want to have a focus on education about making sure your smoke alarms are working. If you don't have one, we're going to find a resource of how to get those into families so that hopefully we can do everything we can to prevent something like this from happening in the future. State Fire Commissioner John Oxendine said yesterday his office will provide anyone who needs it with a free smoke detector and even help installing it. Greenbrier staff now plans to take him up on that offer, saying they want the state to help them with their upcoming fire safety campaign. In the meantime, anyone interested in helping the Bussey family with a donation should contact Greenbrier Elementary School. Back to you. Pete.